Yeah. Uh, so, mentality, all right? You guys obviously have all watched college wrestling, right? We go and we watch guys on our feet and they're nasty. They got offense left and right. Well, let me tell you, you get where you can be good on top, guys are going to be scared to wrestle you on your feet. They're going to be thinking already ahead, if I make a mistake, this guy's going to capitalize on me if I go underneath. And God forbid I screw up on this offensive shot that I take and this guy gets on top of me, I'm in trouble. So that's what we want to implement as a as a wrestler, you want a little fear, all right? You want this guy that you're getting ready to wrestle, and you go out, you know, you've wrestled a guy that you're like, damn, this guy's got a really good low single, so now I gotta be careful how I move my feet. You know you've been there. So we want that as a competitor. We want our guy to think. So when I'm wrestling, what's your name? Landon. So when I'm wrestling Landon, I want him to think, uh-oh, I'm on bottom, I'm in trouble. He freezes up, all right? So that's gotta be the mentality. It's an offensive mindset on top. It's an offensive mindset. All right, I'm constantly working when I'm on top. Two things, I'm trying to turn this guy, and I'm also trying to make him tired by wearing him out if he's trying to get out, all right? He makes a mistake, I'm gonna capitalize. But real simple, all right, we're gonna go step by step here on top. And I can tell you right now, this is probably the easiest thing to pick up if you don't have anything to go to on top, all right? So it comes off from a referee's position. First thing I do is I always look to see what this guy gives me. Go out of bounds or he gets set. I'm, I'm, I'm looking right away. When I come down right here, I know he's trying to do an explosive stand-up. That, to me, is where I'm going to put my weight on, on position on this guy, which means if I put my weight a little bit on the head and chest, it's going to slow him down just a tiny bit, right? Come on up on me. It slows him up a little bit. If I put my weight on the back right here, go ahead, come up. Come up right away, all right? By the way, he positions his feet. If he tucks him, go ahead, tuck him. Obviously, hopefully, we've been wrestling long enough to know that he's going to do some sort of sit-out, right? He's not going to explode up, would you? Because if he did, we'd be in trouble. Right. So good. So he's going to, if he's here, I, I'm going to position my weight up high right here. All right. I'm going to cover him basically is what I'm trying to do because I'm going to attack the back side of his body right here. Go ahead. From this position, if you can tell, I'm kind of high on him. Right here. Go ahead. Sit back like you're a little bit right here. All right. I'm covering up front because I want to attack the back side, but I want to make him carry my weight. And all I'm going to do on the whistle is I'm going to get to the outside ankle and come underneath and I'm going to block. All right. I got to beat this knee right here. Because something's trying to move on me, and what I'm trying to do is cover him so he can't come up. All right? And when I'm talking about whistle blows, I'm jumping here, I'm blocking the knee, and I'm attacking the ankles right here. All right? Go ahead, bring your legs up right now. All right? I'm covering him. So now I know the only positions he can go are almost to a sit out. So I've stopped his movement. If you wrestle with guys that are real explosive on bottom, this could be a good little uh, point for you to stop. All right, and what I'm talking about on the whistle, I gotta beat this knee, and I know that. So whistle blows, all I'm doing is I'm coming up, covering, and catching this outside ankle right here. I'm not dangling over top, get myself in trouble, but I'll have a little shallow ride, all right? And this is gonna set up my offense from here, all right? And it's just something we work on in our room, and I'll, and I'll explain it to you pretty simple right here, all right? 15 seconds left in a match, I'm winning by a point. I wanna win this match, I gotta find a ride, all right? And this makes it real simple. I want to get to this inside ankle to wrestle this guy. And what I'm talking about is I want to get to this inside ankle right here. A lot of offense is going to come from here. All right? We're in a tight match. I'm winning by a point with 15 seconds left. Am I on top right now? Right? Am I on top right now? Am I on top right now? Come up to your feet. Am I still on top? And the referee's first scoring goes, right? So now I'm going to win this match by being here. Confidence, knowing that I can ride this guy. 15 seconds if I can get it. You might get hit for stalling depending on what you're doing, but at least you're giving yourself the opportunity to ride this guy out. All right, whistle blows, I block, outside ankle, I'm driving forward, I'm getting to this inside ankle. Once the weight shifts, I can attack here, and now I can dangle over top. This allows me to cover his whole body. I can wrestle, all right? He's gonna step up by what I do pressure-wise here. I'm gonna drive into him. Go ahead, wrestle me back just a tiny bit, yes. It's a natural reaction for this guy to do that. That's when I know I can set my offense up. All right, this gets real simple. All right, I'm gonna get a cross face on this guy. I'm gonna take his strength away right now. Go ahead, how strong are you? Go ahead, all right? Turn your head sideways. Oh, like turn your head. How strong are you? See that? That's what I'm looking to do here on top. I'm gonna take his strength away from what I do to his head. All right, so a lot of things are working and I, you're gonna get some time to, to drill this. But I want you to understand the concepts of how this body works when we're on top, I'm trying to turn this guy here. All right. So as I get this inside ankle, he I'm either going to break him down and go to a different turn, 
or he's stubborn, he wrestles, and he's going to put that leg up so he doesn't fall, right? He's going to do that. And that sets my cradle up right here, all right? I'm going to attack the face like we talked about. I'm going to come underneath, knuckles, get a little dirty with him, nothing that's illegal, but I'm going to come knuckles across, slide, and I'm going to get my lock up here high, all right? So I'm taking my elbow, and I'm going to drive it to his head. Here, elbow goes to his head, and I'm pulling this across. All right. This is what I just talked about, taking away his strength. If I don't do that right here, and I'm here, and he can move his head, it's going to be hard to cradle. All right. So I'm coming up, across, and I'm going to rip. When I say rip, I'm pulling this to me, and I'm going with my elbow here. All right. I have the inside ankle, and all I'm going to do now is feed my knee to my elbow to his knee. It's like a hammer and nail, basically. Here, elbow, and all I'm going to do now is take my knee to my elbow. Here. This is what makes the move. All I'm doing is running this. All right? The weight that I have going here, he can't pick that ankle up because of what I'm doing. Here. Go ahead. When I'm dangling over top, right here, go ahead, pick that foot up. He can't pick it up because of the weight I had on there. All right? So everything's in position. I'm attacking. And I've, I've basically mobilized this whole body from what I'm doing. Go ahead, back up with that leg. Here. Punch. Elbow comes across, my knee is going to my elbow, and I'm going to run this right over, right here. And all I'm going to do from here is release this inside, get my lock. Pretty simple. I walk it over. All right? Watch one more time. Cover the lock. I promise you, you guys get time to drill this. All right? Go back down from the beginning. Whistle blows. I'm going to knee block, outside ankle. Get the weight shifting forward, then I'm going inside. I'm going to dangle over top. I'm going to drive in over his shoulder. He's going to step up. I'm going to punch, punch, pull. Here. That hurts, right? Now I'm going to take my elbow to my knee here and drive it here. Okay? Move that foot. You can't. All right? This hand is going to slide off and I'm grabbing my wrist. I don't come off. And now, once I get here, I'm going to jump sides. This lock right here. See that? The mistake everybody's gonna make, we're gonna do this. Right here. And it's hard to turn, guy. Okay? Bring that arm out. You can wrestle me now. That's why I make it real simple for myself right here. Alright? I want you to get these concepts now, and then we're gonna fine-tune it. Because there's some critical things to take the guy over from here. But I gotta wake you guys up a little bit right now. Either that or get another run in. Alright, let's go. One, two.